What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to my first Waypoints uh, video that I'm actually playing a match in. Um, if you didn't check out yesterday, I opened 100 packs in a video, and it took a very long time. If you don't want to watch that, you're not missing anything. Um, I advise you not to sit through that. But here we go. Today, look, I am number one in ranked already. Nice bounce back from the rating reset. Uh, jumped right back to the top of the ladder. So that's awesome. Um, 1680, high 1600s seems to be like the top five on the ladder. Uh, by the end of the week, I suspect they'll, it'll be closer to like 1800. But I don't know. Um, that's kind of like how it was for the rating reset uh, last year. For um, like last, last November, there's a rating reset. So today we are going to play a trial uh as you guys know i did trial walkthrough playthroughs guides slash tutorials slash whatever of a, a lot of these hard trials and uh these are uh new waypoints trials they added and i'll be trying to do all these in a same kind of trial walkthrough video but some of them won't exactly be walkthroughs because now some of them um you start with a a deck uh, a pre-constructed deck so you don't get to build your own deck so that it will be missing that piece of I'm giving you guys a deck that would work for it but maybe you guys could learn about how I could play the trial and stuff like that so I'm gonna be doing this one today fair Freha Fred Freha I'm gonna pronounce it like that uh, there's only one way to prove a caller's true worth a battle of pure skill a conflict of purity a mirrored match between two callers both matched in power and might can you live up to the challenge, young caller? This Freha goes on a bit. But she's got a point. To battle! Alright. So, seems like I'll have a mirror match. Probably against like the hard AI. And I'm given a growth deck, and I just have to win normally. I'm not a big uh, gold reward for this trial, but whatever. And let's see if we can do this. Um, good luck, have fun, uh, Freha. Okay. Uh... I guess this is a good hand because I have. I'm not sure what's in this deck, so I don't know if it's a good hand actually. But turn one Vetter, turn two Nog. Um, Clan Ascent Orchard is cool. George Vigor. That might be interesting. I think I'd rather keep the Sister of the Owl though over the Fijords. So I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice that and just play a Red Red Wild. And hopefully, I know it's a mirror match, but she might have like a Ragged Wolf. I'm not sure if Ragged Wolves are in these decks. There might be bad scrolls in the deck, but. Okay, I'll sacrifice the god hand because I'm not anywhere close to that. This deck doesn't seem too bad, such as the Owls, Vetters, god hands. This deck seems pretty solid. And I don't think it's going to be too hard because you're facing the AI with a deck that's uh, with a deck that's as equal, equally as strong as your deck. So, I'm actually surprised that this is a hard trial because it seems like it won't be that hard. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice Sister of the Owl here. You'll see Azula is a common scroll. It seems okay. Um, 5 2 5 for 6 isn't amazing, but flying is okay. Flying isn't great. That was not too cost. Okay. Um, I think I'll play the Clandestine Orchard. Yeah, I'm going for the Clandestine Orchard. Wait, can I? No, I can't kill you. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Clandestine Orchard, an eventual letter. And now you attack. So Clandestine Orchard makes every time you put something down, uh, you know, your side will count down, but it also works for the opponent, so I have to watch out for that. Vilds of the Verdant. Alright, that's a, that's going to be a problem to deal with. Okay. Another Clandestine Orchard. Hmm. Alright, they don't stack, though. They just add up higher, so I'm not going to play them. I'm actually going to sacrifice the Gusly Azulia for scrolls, though. Budding Vetter, that's awesome. Okay, so I'll play the Budding Vetter. Down here. Let's see what I can. Let's see what attacks. That. I prefer the Nog to attack all the things, but that's not too bad. Um, and let's initiate battle. Okay, now owls are beasts. Next turn, if I play two owls, I should be able to do some awesome stuff. So let's see. Nognest and 
Nog. All right, so one of uh, things are going to attack. It also works on structures, I think. When a creature can a random creature on the same side. Okay, never mind. It only works on uh, creatures. So I want to destroy that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, I could try. If I play, I'm going to sacrifice the god hand and probably play both owls. Um, I want to be able to destroy this. You guys are going to be attacking the Nog's Nest. Actually, no, I can't destroy this. There's no way I could destroy it with the owls. Oh, well. Whoop. Let's put down a couple owls then. Oh, I get more resources too. And how do I want to do this? I guess I'll do damage to you just in case I need to do that. And seems good like this. Yeah, so none of these guys can move. Alright, and I'll save the other clan on Orchard. Okay, so I have to watch out a little bit. You can have all this stuff attack this turn if he puts down a couple creatures. Alright, moves up there so I'm not worried. And perfect, that turn was awesome for me. Uh, Vilza, I will play that over the Clan Sign Orchard because Clan Sign Orchard affects both sides, so it's not really a huge thing. Uh, I really want to be able to destroy this Vilza this turn, and if I play the Vilza of the Burden, I'll have a two thirds chance of destroying it because two, there's two out of three, but my creatures will count. Like, one of these guys will probably count down, but just to be sure, I think I'm going to play both of these, right? I could do that. I play that, it only costs one, and then I play that, yeah. I have both of these. This uh, budding better allows me to do that. So let's play a Vengeful Vetter. Oh no, it didn't. Well, at least good thing, this thing attacked. It's perfect. But, oh, whoops, I was thinking this is a beast. This isn't a beast, this is a Vetter. Vetter should be beast, in my opinion. Whatever, oh well, this is now vulnerable to death. Oh well, should have played Vilda or Budding better. But oh, I'm sorry, Freyha. Did yeah, this is that doesn't seem like a too hard trial. Totem Mask. When structure comes into play, and Chen Unit gets plus two attack plus two health. I don't. I haven't seen a structure in this deck in either of our decks. Well, we have the same deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice that because I haven't seen a structure. Clannison Orchard is gone now, but now there's another one, and I'm going to go ahead and play it. And play a Vilda the Verdant. Look, I have, I have the I have the Vetter trio here. I have the Vetter of the Wild, the Vengeful Vetter, and the Budding Vetter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and kill this. Uh, gain some more growth, and next turn I can go Sister of the Owl. So doesn't look too bad. It's interesting <laughs> if the when the Nod gets hit, it's like head flies backward. Uh, he gets this. She gets sister of the owl at first. This is for the owl. Now, if you click on like some of the keywords, you can see like more stuff. But now it's back to six cost, and but now uh, it's six cost because um, because flying was buffed. I will go ahead and play a sacrifice the quake. And I will do a bunch of damage to this, or do I just go left for idols? No, I'm actually going to do a bunch of damage to this, and then the sister that I was going to get buffed. So let's go like that. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have to worry about where it spawns, because I can actually move it. Well, I do have to worry a little bit. Wait, why is it? Oh, I played two things, so two of my things attack, and I, the owl... The owl uh, counts it down, and the counts on the sister of the owl. Okay, so I'm gonna put. I want to protect this. Actually, no, that, I haven't seen many enchantments in the deck, so I don't need to protect that. I'd rather have the owl in front of that. All right, not too bad. So now that sister of the owl has whop. It's a whopping five five, and it'll probably be a five seven after this turn. But a double sister of the owl for Freya. That's a problem for me. Um, doesn't won't be too much of a big deal though. I should be able to do fine. Let's see if I can draw Sister of the Owl. Crimson Bull. I'm going to keep that over the budding better. And I do draw Sister of the Owl, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and... 
lay the sister of the owl down here. And now two of my things will go off. Good, this fetter went off, which is what I wanted, so I could at least destroy this. And... Now I will... I want to take out this middle idol. So let's do that. Yeah, let's take out this middle idol. I'm actually a little bit vulnerable from this to that dying, so I'm actually going to put the veteran in front. And more things count down. Move you to a more central location. And also, awesome, maybe I can win next turn with a Crimson Bull or something. Okay, so I guess I didn't really need to do like a trial walkthrough for this trial. It seems pretty easy. Flies down to the side of the board, but you see uh, the countdown increased. I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Uh, now in scrolls, you can see uh, the stats on the board when you click control. By the way, if you didn't know, if you click control, you can toggle the stats. But they're really they're thinner now. Uh, I didn't like it at first because I was just more that wasn't used to it. But now I do like. Um, seems pretty cool. Sacrifice the Nog's Nest. Rally, is that game? It's not game, but it does destroy stuff that I need to get rid of. Too bad I can't go Rally Crimson. I will go Rally. And... Yeah, it's not game. So how do I do? How do I want to do this? So I definitely want to take out this Sister of the Owl, and that's Sister of the Owl. So I'll take out both Sister of the Owls. And then... I will take out... Unfortunately, I can't destroy that Owl. But I'll just kill that. And that will be my turn. Oh no, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Messed up kind of badly. I wasn't. I moved back the last second with this owl and this Vilza, but I shouldn't know that because that means in the order of attack, attacking goes like this, like follow my mouse cursor here. And now, because I made the mistake, I lose this sister of the owl. That was a big mistake by me. But this is the attack order of the board. So, when I moved this owl back, it attacked after the sister owl, and I had to attack before to give it five attack. <sighs> so that was a blunder. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Skythorn. Um, another rally. And is that game... I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's game. It's close to game, but I don't think it's game. It's actually a really close game. I'm actually going to rally because I want to get rid of stuff. Stuff. I want to get rid of some stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and rally with the Nog's Nest because that counts it down a little bit. So I'm able to destroy that stuff, and then I could actually take out, take down this idol, but I want to take down his Vetter. So okay. Okay, and then I have a Crimson Bull Skythorn for next turn. So he flies up there, and I get... Oh, I only get one Nog from that. I messed up again. Um, Nog's Nest spawns two Nogs when it gets to count on zero, but only if there's two adjacent tiles. There's only one adjacent tile, so I messed it up. Actually, this Skythorn, so I can, like, use Totem Mass Skythorn. And I, why do I have eight growth? Oh, because the Nog spawned when this was there. Okay. Let's get rid of the totem mess. I don't think it's going to help. God hand GG. Uh, so 10. How do I, yeah, 10. 4, 3. I'm so close to destroying all idols. Alright. So, left one idol and one health. That'll be it for me today. I'm sure you guys are able to just defeat this trial rather easily. I don't think it should belong in the hard trials section. Um, looks like this unfair Udo one is going to be a lot harder. I've heard it. This one's kind of hard. But that'll be it for me today. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more scrolls content. Like the video if you enjoyed. And keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I hope you're having fun in waypoints. And hopefully next time you see me, I'll still be right here, number one. So see you next time.